Welcome everyone to a tutorial on how to make images into black and white images. So what I'll be showing you to, how to do is to take a normal image and make it black and white. Um, so right now I'll just show you what I have working and then I'll explain it after I do this. So I've got a little window here and a button. And this button is going to go to this image here. Now as you can see this image is in color. Not a lot of color but it is in color. And this is actually a thumbnail for my origami video. So I open it up, and there it is in black and white. And I'll explain how I did that. Um, first of all, I had the open file dialog so that I could pick the image. And then I have image path, which is OFD, which is the open file dialog, dot file name. I then created a bitmap in memory um, from that image path. And then I also created another image memory which would be used for um, drawing to the screen later so this is like our canvas so it is the same size as this image up here however it is um, it's blank it just uh, it doesn't have an image loaded into it like this one does then down here we have a graphics that does it from image um, in fact I don't even need that anymore I was trying something different I don't need that um, but anyways this is the screen graphics, okay? And then we have two different colors. One color will be getting the color of one pixel from this image, and the other color will be creating the new black and white color to be drawn to this image. Um, this is the average black, in order to calculate for black and white, we take the average of the red, green, and blue colors. So as you can see here, we cycle through. I is less than original image dot width, so it's going through that the x values, I probably should call that x, and this is the y values, the height. So it'll cycle through the whole entire thing. And then the next thing that happens is it takes the color from the original image, it gets a pixel of i and y, so x and y value, creates an average, so it takes them all, adds them together, and divides it by three, because there's three different values. It creates a new color from v, equals color dot from ARGB. It has the same alpha as the previous image, but the R, G, and B values are all the same value, the average of the three. And then it uses set pixel, um, the X and the Y, and then of course the color. The reason I use set pixel is because it's about twice as fast as drawing boxes or lines that are one pixel in size. Um, I did some timing and found that. The other thing to keep it going fast is actually drawing it to a buffered image instead of to the screen because has to when you draw it to the screen the screen has to kind of register that and it takes up time um, and then lastly we draw that black and white image to point empty which is point zero zero on the screen which is of course this coordinate up here um, so this upper left hand side then we can grab the image open it up and it takes it about I don't know half a second to do it or less and this image dimensions are about, I think, 300 by 200. Let's take a look at it. It's 385 by 279, so I was almost about right. Oops. <laughs> I didn't select the image. That's why it caused that error. But yeah, anyways. So I hope this helped you understand how to create, uh, convert colored images into black and white images. Um, that's all for now. And I'll see you guys later. And I will be putting up a tutorial on how to get your color scheme to look like I have it here because default it's a white background so yeah uh, see everyone later bye